We were really excited when the Shangri-La Hotel in Toronto invited us to decorate one of their suites for the holidays. Don't you love this space? Like these beautiful chevron floors and there's all these pretty elements, but it's still pretty mod and cool. The Shangri-La Hotel is all about Asian-inspired luxury and hospitality and the garden suite which they gave us to decorate is beautiful. It's very pretty right now. Totally. So we're gonna have to mix it up to get that wintry feel. Yeah, right? maybe yeah. we take away some of the, the pinks, the vivid yeah. colors. And yeah. I like the layout a lot too, how there's a living room and a bedroom. This is actually bigger than the condo that I live in. Oh yeah. <laughs> Easily. <laughs> Isn't this a great bedroom? Oh yeah. This bed and the high ceilings. Mm -hmm. So we've got a few kind of neutral zones here. Maybe add a little sparkle or a twinkle with some lights in the corner. Okay. This bathroom is so bright and beautiful and these windows are amazing. So it's not going to need much. No, just maybe a few things along the marble ledge there and yeah, okay. some festive hits to make it feel special. Yeah. Great. This room didn't need a lot, it was already beautiful, but we just wanted to add a whole bunch of layers and make it very cozy, so we brought in a ton of stuff. Oh my god, that's beautiful. Oh, come on. See, hold on, hold on. That's Winter Wonderland right there. That's about as Winter Wonderland as we get. When we were unpacking all of our treasure, it kind of felt like Christmas morning. There <laughs> yeah. were so many beautiful things from Indigo, like those snow globes yes. and the candles. Oh, these throws are nice. Just so many things that I would love to take home mm -hmm. or, or even give as gifts, really. It really was a beautiful line designed by Indigo's creative director, Scott Formby, and it was a lot of pieces that this room just needed, like the fur throws and the pillows and the nets. Totally. Do you think we start with assembling the tree? Maybe get it set up in the corner. So we started with the living room, which even in a normal house would be the ultimate room to start decorating in, course, right? Yeah. Yay! Aww. I like how the extra branches make it a little less perfect, too. Well, it's really the main focus, and in this case, it's where we wanted to include a tree, we included some garland, and created almost a focal point, which is in lieu of a fireplace, really. Yes. Once the sparkle and the twinkle is happening, we kind of were able to back up and decide where do we need to add more and where do we need to maybe pare back. Yeah. So when it came to the sofa, like this thing is huge. I have not seen a sofa this big in a <laughs> long time. So there's a lot of room for pillows. Yes. And you balanced it perfectly with that huge piece of art. And then we just layered it up. So there's some metallics, there's some faux fur. There's this cable knit, yeah, almost. this cable knit that really relates well to the rug. The hanging chair is such a focal point in totally. this room. It was kind of perfect for the owl pillow, right? Birdcage, really owl, come on. Doesn't get much better. <laughs> These shelves are purely decorative, so why not make the most out of it and use them to show off pretty wintry things? Exactly. So we've got some winter landscapes. Yeah, and I really, really love that penguin. <laughs> I love it too. <laughs> Holiday equals candy. It really does. I love how we ended up with that candy bar. I mean, the guests will love it. We've already been into it. Oh yeah. It's the perfect little treat and it feels extra special. Oh yeah. I think this living room was really about going the whole nine yards. Completely. We wanted to change out the rug because we wanted that real winter wonderland feel. It's just a matter of creating that visual impact the minute you walk in the mm. door and by changing out things like the rugs and the pillows and not just adding a tree, like you're really decorating the room mm. from top to bottom and that's what makes it feel special and I hope guests agree. Why don't we start by layering up the bed and if we feel like it's not enough then we'll... we'll... keep going with the other stuff. People don't think about decorating a bedroom for the holidays but it didn't take much. Exactly, it's just textural really, mm. that faux fur throw at the end. We did a few ornaments and just a simple vase yeah. and a couple of woodsy Christmas trees, but it's just a few hits just to make the bedroom feel special and just yeah. relate to the rest of your home. Do you want it to be a bow or do you want it to just be like... Just simple, yeah. I love the mix that we ended up with in the bedroom. The Asian-inspired furniture, which was existing, looks so beautiful when we added all that grapevine mm -hmm. and hits of navy blue. It's a jewel tone that really relates to the green that yes. we did in the living room, yeah. but it just changes it up a bit. And look beautiful with all that woodwork. Yeah, I was really happy about it. I also love the piece of art we brought in for the bedroom. The scale is fantastic and the white creamy background mm -hmm. against the wood wall, it just looks beautiful. That bathroom with floor to ceiling marble was beautiful. You can't go wrong, exactly. We kind of created a faux little tree line <laughs> with some potted trees yep. and a few mercury glass accents, mm -hmm. some carnations, which I think are totally appropriate yes. this time of year. Absolutely. It was also really nice to bring in a few more natural elements, like that rough wool rug on the floor. Honestly, this was one of the best holiday projects 
that we've been able to work on. I'm really happy knowing that all of this stays here and guests from around the world are gonna be able to come in and enjoy this suite. It's true, we've created this little piece of winter wonderland and everyone else gets to see it too. Maybe they'll let us stay here. I know, or at least use the <laughs> pool, I don't know. <laughs>